Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shellcraft One in my little barn door, and I have some wonderful fall journals to add to the booth for Miss Yolanda Carranza. And she is so crafty 100 on YouTube, and I'll leave links to her information in the description box below. But she had sent me these last year, and they just got to me a little too late um, to put them in the shop for her to sell them. So I told her I would just hang on to them until this fall. And oh my goodness, y'all, they're so stinking cute. I think y'all are going to just love them. I absolutely love the covers. They have such personality. And um, I think that they're just going to be wonderful. So I'm excited to see them because I never got to see them either. So I've had to wait a whole year to look at her journals. And I love her journals. Yolanda has the most unique and neatest style. I love her style. Okay, so she's got the, the vintage lace, um, like the eyelet lace here. She has lace on the spine. It looks like it's one signature. And then this is the back of the journal. And I absolutely am in love with the bead dangle. How pretty is that? Okay, so she's got it tied with this striped in fall colors, grow grain ribbon. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, super, super cute. Let me see if I have an information sheet here somewhere. Probably, maybe this, nope. Okay, maybe somewhere in the journal. All right, so in this first pocket, it's a fabric, like a quilted pocket, and she's got the beading around it. I love the inside cover of the journal. Oh, how stinking cute is this? Look, it's a little paper clip. Not paper clip, it's a clothespin. That's a clothespin with the little leaf on there. Super adorable. Okay, and then in this pocket, I love that she's made a pocket out of a playing card, vintage, vintage playing card. Okay, here's her information. Let me just hold that up for you. I'm gonna still put it in the, in the description box, but if you wanna take a screenshot, you can. And I love her little uh, little thank you cards she puts in each journal. Super cute little vintage recipe cards and then um, an index card. I love this paper. Oh, it's wallpaper. That is vintage wallpaper. How cool is that? I love it. Super cute little tag there um, on a paper clip. I love how she puts such wonderful pages in her journals. And y'all, I, I do have to say, I'm, I'm tending to look at journals in a different light now that I'm actually doing the journal with me. Oh, this is super pretty. Um, I'm looking at things quite a lot differently, so it is definitely helping me to know how to make better journals. I love this, that's gorgeous. Um, just by, journaling in one myself you know and it, it helps me to understand a little better the needs of you know the things that you need uh when you're journaling so i know i know you know better things to put in the journals now and things like that and um like pages for example i love these kind of pages in a journal because you can you can leave some of it showing, but you can take some of your favorite pattern paper and just cover right over it and make it your own. So I love the versatility that um, papers or pages like this give you. That's a cute little stamp. Oh, a little sticker. And I love that ribbon. I'm getting ready to break out my fall and Halloween stuff because I'd like to make a Halloween journal this year. I've just kind of run out of time. I'm in the process of making these farm journals. And um, I think I've overwhelmed myself a little. <laughs> and so, um, but that's okay. If I need to lay some of them to the side and start on the fall stuff, um, I think I'm going to have to um, in order to get them out in a, you know, a decent time. I love this paper. Um, so, I do have some farm journals that are almost finished, though. So, keep an eye out for those. I love her little fabric flip. I love, love the mix of colors that she's put in this little fabric flip. Look how stinking cute that is. I love that. A little pocket here with some tags. And Yolanda sent me a whole bundle of stuff last year for 
um, Thanksgiving and Halloween and fall type journals. So I'm super excited to get to play with them here this year. Okay, I know I need to flip a little faster and quit talking so much. <laughs> but I think this journal is going to be very similar, so it won't take us as long to go through it. But these are adorable. I love it. I love these types of pages. Beautiful digital prints here. How cute is this? I love all the fall colors. Um, all of my life, I have... Oh, I love this. That is gorgeous with that barn. Mmm. Very pretty. Um, all my life, I've always been sad to see summer go. Um, but this year, since I'm going through some changes in a woman's life, <laughs> I'm ready for fall because I'm hot. <laughs> Super cute. Aww. That is the center of the signature with the little bead dangles hanging out. I love those beads. Love, love those wooden beads. Very pretty. So yeah, I'm definitely, uh, now my daughter and my husband, they've always, always, always been ready for fall. Like every year they wait on fall. <laughs> Me, not so much because I love the heat. I love the summer. I'm a, I'm a water bug, so I love to swim, but I haven't got to very much in the last few years. Even though we do go to the lake, sometimes I don't always get in, um, you know, if I'm fishing. Now, I will, um, I'll jump in if I get hot when I'm fishing. Super cute. I love that with the little pocket on the back. And I love this fabric with the little pilgrims. How stinking cute is that? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I love this. It almost, it feels like a corn husk. I don't know if it actually is, but that's what it feels like. Very cool. And I'm loving these little stickers she's used on the pages. Very pretty. That is very familiar. Talk about some memories. Creative memories is where I got mine, I think. I don't think this was actually creative memories, but I had it in that whole big book that I had all those stickers in which I sold on eBay, in my eBay shop. I sold, um, I sold uh, that whole big book of stickers and die cuts. I just sold it as, uh, as one. I didn't sell, you know, I wasn't trying to sell the st stickers separately or anything. And I still have um, some of the die cut papers and the pattern papers in shapes. Um, I have a whole book of those that are in my eBay shop. Um, and I was disappointed because that's a super cute little notepad. Um, I was disappointed because over the weekend I got an offer on it and I didn't see it, of course, because I was gone uh, doing wedding shenanigans. And so the offer expired and I didn't make the sale. So it's still in there if anybody's interested or if you're looking for some creative memory stuff. I have a whole book of stuff um, in my eBay shop, which is Barn Door Treasures. Super cute. I love this. And then the very back has that sweet little quilty pocket and a cute little recipe card. Love that. All right. So let's see. We're going to call this fall. Uh, they both are pretty much the same. We're going to call this autumn journal because it says autumn leaves here. And this one we're going to call the fall journal because it has the word fall here. So that's how you'll be able to differentiate uh, between the two, okay? So this one is Autumn Journal. This one is Fall Journal. And uh, again, I think they're both um, very similar. I absolutely love this fabric and it's quilted or, um, I don't know if you call this quilted. You know, it's where they go around some of the shapes in the quilt with the threads. I don't know if that's considered quilted or appliqued or whatever, but some of you seamstresses out there can probably tell us better what it's called. Okay, so in your front pocket here, ooh, that's a really neat paper. It's glittery paper, but it has a, um, like a film over it, so the glitter doesn't come off. I love that, because I absolutely hate glitter, but if it's something like this, then you don't have to worry about it getting everywhere, and I wouldn't mind that so bad. <laughs> I love this flashcard with the acorn on it. 
cute little pocket there. Then you have your recipe cards, index card, and her thank you card. Okay, we're going to flip a little faster. These are from, um, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. What are those magazines that we all love so much? I'm making one right now. I'm making a journal out of, oh, I love this. Absolutely love that fabric. So pretty. Ideas. Ideas magazines. Holy crow, I couldn't think of the word. Oh, I love this so much. Super cute. Super duper cute. Barley quick bread. I don't know. I always think when I th when I hear barley, I think beer. You know, because they have the barley beer. And I just think, if it tastes like that, I don't really think I want it. <laughs> you know, because they have barley soup. And I think it's, I don't know. And I could be totally wrong. I've never eaten anything that was barley. So, but I just, it just kind of makes me feel like it would be like a fermented flavor. So, anybody of any of y'all ever eaten any barley flavored anything? Does it does it have a fermented taste or is it good? Do tell. I love, love, love the little Volkswagen. Super cute. Look at the turkey. Oh, it reminds me of my school days when we used to make little turkeys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fabric flip. Sweet little ties. Oh, I love this. This is so cute. She's made it with a Rolodex card upside down and then made this little, very pretty little collage there as a pocket. These are so sweet, Yolanda. I love these. There's goodies in the envelope. A little altered paper clip. Oh, I love the center of this signature. That's so pretty. And then you have the little beads. Super cute with the fox. I love the fabric pocket. And you have a couple of goodies down in there. Very pretty. Stitched journaling card and a flash card. That's gorgeous. This is really pretty. I think that's an ideas page too. These are so pretty, Yolanda. You did a great job on these. Super cute little pocket there. Oh, I love that with the windmill. It's a card, but it's very vintage. I don't know if you can tell that it has a patina on it um, in the camera, but it's it's got a good little patina to it. Sweet little embroidery page. I love it with the strawberries on it. Oh my goodness. Fumble fingers. He's cute with his bib on. <laughs> Canning time. This could be quickly made into a farm journal. She has shared lots and lots of farm stuff in this journal. So you could add farm stuff. I don't know if y'all have seen... Um, my um my new digitals that i put in the shop but there's some fall labels and some farm labels and just some really really fun uh labels that i've put in there for y'all to grab and they're at a great price they're like a dollar nine so um just something for you to have fun with and play with i love this so um, if you're looking for labels go check them out i think we missed a page there we go And I'm hoping that I'm going to get to play with... Oh, this is a pocket. I bet it's a pocket in the other book, too. Y'all just have to check it when you get it. Super cute little tag in the back. Oh, I love this. That is so pretty. Her stitching is great on here. She's stitched around it, but it's a good, sturdy um, journaling card. And then you have a place to write on the back. Very pretty. That just screams fall, doesn't it? So these are her two fall journals, um, and they will be in the shop when you see this video. So run over and grab your favorite one. Again, this one will be called the fall journal, and this one will be called the autumn journal. They will be in the same listing, so you'll just have to reach for the 
um, or do use the pull down menu to choose which one you love. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions for me or Yolanda, you can leave them in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope y'all have a great day. Big hugs.